Let's talk about phosphorus, the nutrient referred to as P. Globally, agriculture consumes about 47 million tons of phosphorus-based fertilizer per year, costing over $41 billion annually. Typical phosphorus fertilizer costs, based on crop removal amounts, can easily exceed $50 per acre for a two-year corn-soybean rotation. The good news, phosphorus, unlike nitrogen, is much less prone to losses from soil. In most fields, phosphorus loss is associated with soil erosion or runoff from soils recently fertilized with surface applications of fertilizer, sometimes into surface tile inlets in tile-drained fields. In many soils with low phosphorus levels, the soil competes with plants for the phosphorus added from fertilizers. Worldwide, current phosphorus use efficiency in grains is estimated to be less than 10%. To optimize phosphorus management, we need to understand the soil properties which will affect its availability to plants. Organic matter contains phosphorus and can supply crops with a portion of their needs, but organic phosphorus mineralization can be limited in soils with low organic matter. Soil pH can also affect phosphorus availability. When soils are too acidic, iron and aluminum tie up available phosphorus and in alkaline soil, calcium and magnesium reduce its availability. This means the amount of iron, aluminum, calcium, and magnesium in soils that is available to react with phosphorus is important and can increase with the cation exchange capacity, CEC, and clay content in soils. High phosphorus soil test levels provide yield maximization, whereas with low soil test levels, yields can be severely limited without phosphorus fertilizer inputs. For many soils, it takes 10 to 20 pounds of phosphate per acre to increase soil test levels by one part per million. In low testing soils, this can be substantially greater. Increasing soil test levels can be a costly endeavor. There are ways to make this valuable nutrient more readily available to the plant. Phosphorus is so immobile in soil that it generally moves less than one inch from where it is placed when incorporated. Plant roots only access about 1% of the soil volume so they have evolved to accelerate root growth in areas higher in phosphorus. This makes band applications of phosphorus an excellent strategy in low testing soils. Banding can greatly increase soil solution concentrations near the band. Soil solution concentrations are generally less than one part per million, but near the band, solution concentrations can be more than a hundred times greater. Band applications of phosphorus can give young seedlings a great head start in low testing soils, especially when planting early into cooler soils. With Climate Field View, you can quickly see soil maps for all your fields, including field-by-field -field summaries of key soil properties such as texture, organic matter, pH, and CEC. And you can upload your gridded soil sample data to ensure you are staying up to date on all your soil and fertility needs. Ingest your most recent grid soil sample data. View the data in Climate Field View. Share your data with your agronomy partner. And most importantly, develop a plan for your fields on how to better manage phosphorus. Remember, phosphorus management is challenging. Factors that contribute to availability include low soil organic matter levels can limit availability, soil pH that is too high or too low, high CEC and high clay content, Evaluating field-level soil data helps assess phosphorus deficiency. Climate Field View offers several options to evaluate soil data. Field View offers many more tools that help make better decisions. For more information on Climate Field View, visit climate.com. For help with your nutrient management plan, contact your agronomy partner or visit West Central at wcdst.com.